Hey guys, so I am about to do a painting and I do calligraphy sometimes so I wanted to show you a very easy way to do that. So I'll just show you my entire painting and then I'll give you like a little step by step on how to do the calligraphy. An easy way, you do not need calligraphy pins, you don't need anything, you just need a regular pin. I'm going to be using a paint pin today just because I'm painting on a canvas. But this is a 12 by 12 by the way, so I'm... I don't know, I'm just going to be painting and I've been thinking about making an Etsy account so if you guys would want to buy my stuff just please let me know down below, my mom thinks I should. Let's just get into it and hopefully I explain it in an easy way. So these paint pins I just get from Walmart, they kind of suck so I'm looking for a new one just being honest but yeah that's the painting I'm gonna do I found it on Pinterest as I find all of my paintings but yeah so I'm just gonna pick out my paint colors and mix them and make the type of purple I want because our living room color is lavender so I wanted to make that color instead of the dark purple my mom had from Mardi Gras poster that I made in high school <laughs> now we can get to the part that the entire video is about so honestly like try was in the middle of the page so I wanted to try to put it in the center as much as possible and then write everything else around it so that is what you'll see me doing but the first step honestly is just to figure out what kind of cursive handwriting you like which I copied the page um, tried to make my lettering as much like the page as I like the picture I, that I could but the key is to figure out kind of cursive that you like and then honestly just go for it write that down as normal as you see me doing so this is the most important part of the entire thing so I'll slow it down for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing but you want to make sure you keep it thicker on the downstrokes. That is what calligraphy is. It's thick on the downstrokes. That's what makes it look so pretty, I guess. So if you notice on this Y, on the downstroke, I make a thicker line outside of it. And don't worry, it looks weird. It kind of looks cool to me, honestly. But yeah, you just go thick on the downstrokes. And then later on, you'll see me fill them in and it'll look better, I promise. Sometimes the lines come too close so it's already filled in so don't worry about that but yes right now if you have any mess ups in your lettering like there's where the pin picked up or something weird this is where you can fix it on the downstrokes and pretty much just make it your own don't get too caught up in making it look perfect because it's not supposed to be perfect but yeah so here you see me filling it in on just the downstrokes the upstrokes thin the downstrokes Thick. honestly it's not that hard um, some people 
ask me how to do it and I try to tell them and they say it's really hard but I think the problem is is that they're overthinking it I've taught some people and I've tried to teach some people and the people I've taught say it's easy the people I've tried to teach and say it's some people say it's hard so honestly just make it your own don't think too hard into it and I mean if this doesn't work out for you try the actual calligraphy pins and maybe it'll be easier I personally think it's harder this is the easy cheat way, but yeah. So this is the final product. I hope you guys like it. I really like it and I'm gonna see if we're gonna put it in our living room when I go back to school. So I hope it made it easy to explain how to do calligraphy. Basically just remember, thicker on the downstrokes. That's all you gotta do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you want me to do more of these videos and show you different things on calligraphy because I have a calligraphy set. I just haven't used it much and I don't know if I'm very good at it. I cheat my way through it like this one. But if you want me to paint more or do more calligraphy or art stuff, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, if you haven't, click the little bell to notify you when I post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys, peace.